What's poppin' YouTube? It's your boy Bass Chico, smooth as ice, twice and ice, and I'm back with another video. This video popped up in my recommended, bro, and the title just got me. I'm like, hold on, I'm gonna react to this later, so I liked it. The title reads, Julius Malema is making a lot of sense here, just listen. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna check it out and see if it does make sense. Drop a like, subscribe if you're new, and comment what other videos y'all want me to check out. Send them to me. My social media and everything is in the description, guys. I try to respond to as many comments as possible, so interact, all right? To you, hi, hey, hey, Malema wants to do away with borders. Hey, Malema is going to bring people here. Well, I heard about They're that. They're going to come to South Africa. One, <laughs> there are no borders in Europe. Mm. There are no borders in Europe. You can wake up in Italy and go and eat breakfast in Britain and have your lunch in Spain. No, no issue. They have no borders. But they say we must have borders. But let's look at this thing that they keep on saying that when you move... The yeah, it's kind of weird too, like how they're the ones who like took over a lot of African countries back in the day, but they they don't do it how it was done back at their homes. They come do stuff differently over here. It's like a different system in play for the place that we're going to take over. Which, I mean, of course, you would expect them to do that. But it's like, hmm, I wonder why y'all doing that. The borders, people are going to come to South Africa because South Africa has got more resources. That's why they're going to come here and destroy what we have. It's not true. I come from Limpopo. There's no border between Limpopo and Gauteng. And Gauteng is more richer mm. than Limpopo. But the people of Limpopo have never left their homes to go to Gauteng because people always go to where there is richness. <laughs> That's why they are going to leave Nigeria and come here. That's a good Coming analogy, Jew. They will never come here. They've got their own beautiful homes. And even if they wanted to come, there was nothing that was going to stop them. Nothing was going to stop those people from Lesotho. Facts, though. Because there is no fence. It's a lie. It's a myth. It's a dream to say we are divided by a fence. is not true. There is no fence. Those people of Lesotho go to Free State to drink alcohol. It's Saturday today. I'll <laughs> tap on my fella in the afternoon, but... <laughs> he says we sitting here speaking they finna go over there and go get drunk they all talk about it's a border or something like that nah bruh <laughs> yo julius funny you said that's just the video skipping by the way that's not me in Swaziland and Pumalanga. same thing with mozambique and Pumalanga and kwazulu natal why didn't those people of mozambique move en masse to go to KwaZulu Natan. Because we are being told here, if you open the borders, these people will come here. There are no borders. <laughs> it's a gate without a fence. <laughs> <laughs> he's just like, bro, he's not lying though. <laughs> That's the funny part. He's like, I talk about borders like y'all have a, a fence all around the, this place. No, nigga, y'all got this gate right here. <laughs> and then it's open as fuck everywhere. So if people really wanted to cross and come do what, they can still come, bro. So, like, come on, bro. All right, go lie. He's making sense. He's making sense. <laughs> but it's just that it's some people who don't think that. When you speak of border to some people, they think, oh, Around the whole country, it's a big fence, a high fence with security all around the country. That's our border, like, my nigga. Like, really, bruh? That, that, that's maybe in a movie or something like that? But come on, bruh. <laughs> Imagine in your home, more front, more, more, more front. On a fence, Marlebele gate. That's what we are. So scientifically and practically if those people wanted to come here they would have been here it's a lie that they will come in here it's not true there's no fence my shaba went to zimbabwe border there now and he says yeah 
Malema, Malema, he's talking absolute nonsense. He saw for himself, there's no fans. But there are still people in Zimbabwe. They didn't mm -hmm. leave Zimbabwe. They all come over there. Facts. They come to South Africa because there's no fans. It's not true. It's not true. But anyway, everywhere in the world. I mean, look. Every yeah, like before he says what he has to say, I'ma just say, bruh. I mean, a few people might have crossed, you know, illegally. Which I mean, you Swiss gotta. I think I don't know. Don't you need like uh, papers or something like that to get across a visa or something? Or is that only a visa to get in the U.S.? I don't know. But all I know is over here, at least legally to get into Canada, you need some sort of an identification, an enhanced license, which which could be like your regular driver's license or a passport to get in. So, I mean, other people cross illegally. It's Lake Michigan right here. They use boats and they cross illegally. So over here, too, I mean, it's going to be a few people back in Africa that cross from Mozambique to South Africa illegally. But... Let's not make it seem like, oh, when Julius becomes president, everybody just got to move and come over there. Like, come on. How dumb can you be, bro, to believe that? Like, seriously, bro. Including America. <clears throat> it has always been built by migrant laborers. Wait, what? This is, but anyway, everywhere in the world, including America, it has always been built by migrant laborers. Mm -hmm. This economy of South Africa that we're speaking about, if you are going to account for it, you won't exclude the people of Mozambique, of Malawi, of Zambia, mm -hmm. of Botswana, of Lesotho. Shout out Zambia, so, man. Zambia is to be what it is. It's those people. That's where the language Fanaka law comes from. It confirms that different nations were working underground to take out the gold and diamond that made South Africa to be what it is. The EFF did not invent Fanaga law. Talk to them, Jew. Where does Fanaga law come from if these people just met now? They came now during EFF. Our people have always been together with or without the EFF. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Hey, Jew just, he was spinning with that one. I ain't gonna lie, bro. If you disagree, I don't know what to tell you. 